And how can I sit here and enjoy my quiet time when I have these two staring in at me? Because you see, I had this thing called a conscience and I start feeling guilty. <laughs> I thought by keeping both of them, they'd they play with each other. And I could have a little peace. Ouch. Please. I get no peace around here. But, you know, I'll be honest. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Right, Hannah? I wouldn't trade you for anything, baby. Nor you, Hans. Ouch. Ow, God. I don't know if you can tell from the videos or not, but I am what some might would consider a little OCD. Um, I, I'm not a clean freak. I just like things in order. So I come home from work and this is the way I find all of my shoes. Yeah. And if you, and, it, and here's the worst thing. If you notice something, I, I want my flip flops and I can only find one. Look. Guys, I do love you. <laughs> well, I do. I love both of you, but I just want a little peace and quiet. <sighs> okay. All right, come on. All right, you win. Those little puppy faces. You won. Now look. Yeah, you can always tell when the puppies have been in the house because they can't just chew on their doggy toys. No. They just want to take everything they can find, in this case, a styrofoam plate, and chew the heck out of it. Hey there. And so, I don't know if you can see this or not, but they go to the food bowl, and they pull out these kernels. That's a small kernel of food, and they can't eat it at the food bowl. They can't eat it over there. They bring each individual kernel to the floor, and they want to eat it here on the shaggy carpet, but the problem is they end up dropping them and they can't find them until I step on them. Do you know why I'm sitting with my feet up? Because I cannot put my feet down or I get bit. Ouch. Their little claws and their teeth are sharp as razors. And they have not learned their limits yet. No, you can't chew the pillow. You know when you have a baby and you have to go by and baby proof your house? by you know, put, putting everything up high and things that they, they can't get into. It's the same for puppies. A puppy is going to change your life, people. Anybody want to guess how this piece of trim got removed from the sliding glass door? Or right, here's the going. You want to try to guess how these scratches got on the trim along the door? Or if that's not enough, anybody want to try to guess how this blind got somehow <laughs> chewed off from about halfway up. Yeah, that would be Hans and Hannah. A puppy will definitely change your life. And even though they bring you a lot of joy and you wouldn't trade them for anything, <laughs> they're not easy. Look, I have scratches all over me. I have bite marks. Listen, they draw blood. That's how bad they are. They don't, don't bite the couch. <laughs> I love them, but sheesh. Yeah. Now here's a really hard part. I want them to go outside for a while. So I open the door. Come on. No, no, no. Hey, that's a no, no. That is a no, no. That's the car. You stop that. That's a no, no. We're not going to tear the carpet up. We're not tearing up that little. Okay. So I'm going to put them outside, right? So I grab one at a time. <sighs> okay. So here's one. I'll open the door and set him outside. You stay right there. Now she knows. She knows. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> All right. See, she's trying to convince. She's trying to convince me to leave her in. Now she's all about love. Yeah. Oh, now. Ouch. <laughs> now she's all about love. I do love you. But I want you outside with brother. My sister Kim spent so much time and even money trying to beautify this place. And as you can see, the puppies come through here and they just wreak havoc on everything. They're like your own children. You can sit and watch them all night, watch them sleep. And even though you kind of get onto them and you give them a hard time all day long, 
when you're not around them for a little bit. You can't wait for them to wake up and come back for more. <laughs> I love you, buddy. You guys sleep well.